the first place to go to is our downloads page. Now here we've got the profiling charts that you need to download, uh, some called density charts which I'll explain later, and also our guides, our step by step guides. Um, we've also got a test mint down there as well. That's actually quite a useful file for testing your profile. Uh, it's designed to show particular issues with the profile. Um, so if you want to actually see that your profile is working well, uh, use the test print, uh, download that, that's an A4 print, and that will, that will highlight any issues you may see. Right, the step-by-step -step guides, uh, these are PDF files. Um, all of these, uh, there are latest ones. Um, you can see from the file size, they're a bit bigger than the others. Um, these will give you instructions on setting up the software for printing the profiling charts and then for actually um, setting up the software for using the profile. Uh, inside the guide you'll also find that there's a, a number of examples of printer driver settings. Um, the printer driver settings are important. Um, obviously we can't sort of show every single printer driver out there. Um, so these are more used as a guide to show you what different drivers can look like. Um, one difference with this one is Adobe Color Printer Utility. Uh, we don't show what that can actually, um, how to set that up for using a profile because you, you can't use a profile with it. It's purely for printing the profile in charts. But instead we've actually got instructions on there for CS5 uh, Photoshop Elements 8 and Lightroom 3. Uh, these guides do get updated so you may find that actually changes. No, we might have the latest uh, software uh, settings on there for you. Um, please note we also have some archive guides down here. These are our older guides for um, software which generally isn't used that much nowadays. Um, please note this though. Uh, that these uh, these old guides, so uh, unfortunately we can't edit them anymore, um, and they've got an old address in there. So uh, please don't send them to the address shown in those guides. Uh, only use the address here or on our contacts page. Now going back up, um, you've now got a decision to make, uh, which is basically do you use a standard profile or an enhanced profile? The difference between the two is both the the number of charts, um, how many color patches are on each uh, set of charts. If we look at the A4 chart, uh, for the standard charts there's uh, two charts in the set, so that's two uh, pages that you've got to print out. For the enhanced profile you've got five uh, pages that you need to print out. What that gives us with the enhanced profile is uh, more color patches means more accuracy. Now, how much more accuracy depends on the printer, depends on the paper and the ink that you're using. Um, it does vary, but it does give you a, a more accurate profile. It's not going to be a startling difference, it's going to be a subtle difference. Uh, things like sort of your shadow detail, um, your black and white printing. Um, I mean, black and white printing is never going to be that perfect when you're using coloured inks, uh, but with an enhanced profile, it should remove colour casts. It should make it as neutral as possible without having to use software such as a RIP or using actual grayscale inks. So, as for recommendations, if you're just printing from home, um, you just want uh, your printer to actually print out images that look like your screen then go for the standard profile. Uh, that will give you much more accuracy than just downloading a, one of the free generic profiles that you can get. Um, and it will also allow you to profile a sort of paper that isn't profiled. No, it doesn't have a generic profile. Um, you should be pretty happy with the results from that, I would have thought. Um, if you're looking for sort of the best quality you can get, um, say you're doing it for camera clubs or, or you just like to get the best quality out of your printer then go for the enhanced profile it will give you slightly more detail now you'll notice that there's a number of different sizes on here uh, the the profiles the charts themselves come in different sizes uh, to fit the paper that you use um, you want to use the largest paper that you can get hold of 
So if you've got an A4 printer and you've got, um, say, using Epson uh, glossy paper, and you've got six by four paper and you've got A4 paper, go for the A4 paper because you'll have more um, color patches. The actual size of the paper doesn't make any difference to the profile itself. Um, it just allows you to print more color patches, which will lead to better accuracy. Uh, we provide the other sizes for both the, the smaller printers. So if you've got a 6x4 printer, you'll have to go for the 6x4 set. Uh, so choose the set that will fit on the paper that you use. Um, by following the, the settings and the guides, you shouldn't be doing any resizing anyway, but that can cause issues. Um, the charts have to be printed in a certain way on the paper. If they're expanded to things like the A4 chart, if they're expanded to fill up the whole size of the paper, we can't actually read them in. Uh, they've got to be at their actual size as saved in the, the chart files. Um, but like I say, if you use the settings and the guides, that shouldn't be an issue. Now, going down here, we've also got density charts. Um, a density chart is basically a way of identifying what the best um, paper setting is for your printer driver. Uh, your printer driver has a paper setting or media setting. Uh, you, if you're using Epson, you'll probably see things like Epson Premium Glossy, um, Semi Gloss, Heavyweight Matte. Um, Canon drivers have their own sort of paper types on there. And what it does, it sets up the printer driver to print out uh, using a, a certain mix of inks. Um, it, it confirms how much ink is to be put down on the paper. Now, the issue with that, with a custom printer profile, is that you've really got to choose the optimum setting for your paper. Uh, if you don't, uh, the charts can be too dark, and when we read them in, uh, it can lead to uh, problems with the profile. Uh, basically, you, will get a, you quite often get a magenta cast on your, your, your final prints when using the profile. Uh, you'll find all the shadow details very blocked up, and it's all black. Um, so it, it's an important step. Um, it's a little complicated though, so we do say it's optional. Uh, if you don't want to go through there, if you want to use the recommended paper type setting, you're more than welcome to. Um, you just got to be aware that the actual profi profile may have problems in the end, and we may have to come back to you and say, look, no, we need to print out the charts using a different setting. Now, we do this fairly regularly, um, so don't be too worried about that. We don't charge you for another profile. Um, we just need a new set of profiling charts, so it's, it's more hassle for yourself, really, rather than for us. Um, but it's, if, if you can do the density charts, uh, it will mean that you will uh, no, increase accuracy of your profile. You're getting the best quality after your printer because you want to print out um, as saturated as colors as possible, so as darker colors as possible, without taking it too dark. Um, because if you lighten them up too much, uh, you, the profile won't see the full potential of your printer. Um, so we'll, we'll go through that a little bit later on. So let's say we're going to do the A4 chart set. We're going to click on download. And for the Mac, it goes off, goes into the downloads uh, folder down here. Now, at the same time, um, I'm going to click on the density charts, and I'm going to download the uh, the guide as well. So that's going to take a little bit longer to download. Once the files are downloaded, you can click on it down there, and we can see the files there. We've got the guide, the density charts, and the standard profiling charts. If I open it up in Finder, you can see the files there. Now, click on the uh, profile guide, See here, we've got uh, fairly much detailed instructions on all the things you can do. Uh, at the moment, this is just a Windows guide. We are creating a Mac uh, guide, so you should find that on our website fairly soon if it's not already there. Now, the guide itself will actually walk you through the whole process of checking for everything using the density charts and then setting up the Adobe Color Printer utility for actually printing the charts. Now, that's the next thing we've also got to look at downloading. 
So if you go back to the website, go to how to order, go to Adobe Printing Utility. And you see here, we've, it's got some instructions there on how to use it. Uh, but if we go up to the top, we've got a link here. Now, this isn't our software, so obviously we don't host it. You have to download it from Adobe. And you get the uh, page up here. It gives you the information as to why it was created and what you need to do. Now, for the Mac, uh, you just need to click on that link there. And you go down to your downloads page, and it's there. Now, I'm opening it there. Just clicked on it. And we've got that folder up here.